Thanks for tuning in to Raffoon LLC. I'm Ron Raffoon, and as always, we're gonna be talking about pipeline coatings and pipeline protection. If you like this kind of content and you wanna see or hear more, please like and subscribe, that way you know when I go with a new video, or if you've got comments or questions, you have another idea for a topic, please drop it below. Today, the topic is gonna to be the SPY brand holiday detector model 785. This is one of the most common holiday detectors you'll see on a pipeline, and I'm gonna go over how to assemble it and how to set the voltage, as well as what the limitations are on this particular unit in terms of voltage. Before we assemble the 75 holiday detector, let's go over what's in the box. You have the main body of the holiday detector, two batteries, a battery charger, the wand which holds your Jeep spring, your spring, which is specific to the pipe diameter you're doing. This is a six inch Jeep spring. So when it goes on the pipe, it'll go around a six inch pipe. And your grounding wire, which is wrapped around the outside of the case. Those are all the components. Now, before you can actually do any holiday detection, you have to set your Jeep to the right voltage. Now, the 785 has a very wide range of voltages. The first thing you have to do is put your battery on, make sure it's set in there nice and tight. Turn the dial from off to voltage set, which is in the middle. You'll take a small flathead screwdriver and you will turn the dial to set your voltage. Now this particular holiday detector has a voltage range from 1000 volts or one kV all the way up to 15,000 volts. And you can see it went up to 15.3, which is 15.3 kilovolts or 15,300 volts. What I'm gonna do is set mine for a 16 mil FBE coating and using the guidance from NACE SP0188, I'm gonna do a calculation of 125 volts per mil. So 125 times 16 is 2000 volts. So once I have this set at two and it's holding stay like that, I'm at 2000 volts. At this point, you're ready to assemble. Now that your voltage is set and your battery is already installed, to assemble it further, the next step is to take the wand and insert it in the end. There's a groove on the bottom to make sure that it goes in right. Make sure you press it in so that this doesn't come out. Then take your spring, wrap it around the pipe and connect the little knobs on either end of the um, wand. The next step is to install your grounding wire. Your grounding wire goes in the back of the handle and it has a little groove on it that will catch as you turn. Twist it until it seats and now it's ready to go. Now you can go out and jeep a pipe. When you turn it on, make sure you turn it both notches all the way until you hear that steady hum. That steady hum means that you're ready to go and coat, check your coatings. All right, if it is doing this pulsing sound like that, you haven't turned it on fully yet. You're still in the voltage setting. So now this is how you're ready to go. You just have to set your ground and you're off. I'm gonna show you to dismantle it, do the same thing in reverse. Just untwist and pull out your grounding wire. Press the button underneath, take off your wand, detach your Jeep spring. And lastly, depress the button on the back, push down the battery. That's how you assemble and disassemble your SPY 785. The SPY detector 785 is one of several common systems that are used for holiday detection. This video was purely about how you set one for pipeline coatings. This is a very common one. If you're somebody who's in the field on a pipeline right away often, you've likely seen this particular unit, but there are several others. And in future videos, I'll go over how those put, are put together and how you set those as well. We'll also go over in a later video how grounding works and how you can use it, what it's actually used for versus what a lot of people think it's used for. I hope you enjoyed this. 
Have a good day.